Hi guys, it's Sarah. I'm about to get started on the layout here and I wanted to kind of um, let you guys know what's going to be happening here soon. I um, signed up for the Ready Sketch Go um, class which is run by Jen Scow and Tracy Claiborne. So they teamed up and they created this class where it's all sketches. They each do a layout based on that sketch and they each have a process video for each sketch. There's also tons of tips and tricks and um, free cut files and just amazing things. <laughs> so I have been really, um, I just threw myself into this class, so I'm gonna be making a ton of pages using these sketches. I'm not even all the way through the class yet, and I have so many ideas. So I have started pulling some page kits together for some of these things I wanna do. So when I do, a page based on one of these sketches. I'll let you know, but I'm not going to be showing you the sketch because that is paid content. So, um, but if you're interested in taking this class, it's a self-paced thing, so you can buy it whenever, start it whenever, and um, I'll include a link to the class each time I use one of these sketches because honestly, it is so worth the money like and more. So um, I've really, really been enjoying watching all the videos and getting all the content for it. So um, I'm going to have my sketches out to the side. I won't show them to you, but this first one I'm going to work on here is going to be this picture of Kaylin, and she's holding um, the illustrated edition of Harry Potter, which I just recently bought, and we're starting to read it together. And um, so I'm going to do a page about her wanting to get into Harry Potter, which I'm super excited about because those are my favorite books. So what I did was I wanted to include an actual page from Harry Potter, like the actual... This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I think. Yeah, this is the first Harry Potter book. And I wanted to include, um, like, actually take a page from the actual book and rip it out and use it on my layouts. Don't panic. I went to Goodwill and purposely bought this book for this purpose. And this is how I bought it. There's no dust jacket on it. It's all marked up. There's, um, I don't think you can see it here, but there's, like, someone wrote in pen all over it on the back and marker. Um, it's a little banged up. You can tell, like, the corners are all banged up. There's writing on the inside. So I bought it specifically for this purpose. And believe me, there's no shortage of Harry Potter books in the planet. So <laughs> I'm not really concerned about that. So I bought this specifically for the purposes of ripping out pages and using them on my layouts. Because I do plan on doing more Harry Potter layouts as well, especially when we finally end up going to Harry Potter World whenever that's going to happen. This will be great for that. And also when I'm scrapbooking about my favorite books, Harry Potter is absolutely my favorite books of all time. So I plan to uh, use this up quite a bit and just literally ripping pages out. So that's what I bought that. So when you see me do that, don't freak out. It's fine. Everything's under control. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this first layout. All right. So I have a whole bunch of stuff here that I pulled. I've really been getting into pulling page kits when I am either inspired or I get an idea um, or if I just want to do something creative but I don't necessarily want to sit down and scrap I'll just pull a bunch of page kits for pictures I printed and um, so that's what I've done here so this background paper is from Cosmo Cricut that's actually a holiday paper and that's from 2008 <laughs> so that's how long I've had it when I went looking in my 12 by 12 papers to see what I want to do for my background this one stood out to me because um, it's a very neutral color towards the center, but then it has red and green on it as well. And my initial thought was, oh, Christmas. But at the same time, it was, it went with the picture really well. The picture has um, red and green on the cover of the book. So, um, all right. So now I went ahead and ripped out a page there. And I wanted to do a page from the first chapter because it's called The Boy Who Lived and I wanted to make sure that that was on top there so you could see it. So that's kind of like the whole beginning of the story. And I did cut it down a little bit on the top and the bottom and um, my picture's going to go really nicely right there. So all these other papers here, the red chevron is from Pebbles and then all the green ones are just scraps so I do not know. I don't have manufacturers for either one of those. Um, but as you can see, like in the picture, the train is red and there's also some green along the bottom. So the red and green made sense to me. And I like that it's red and green, but it's not Christmas looking. So that was kind of a challenge for me. And I think I did a pretty good job. All right, so these stickers here are called Index and they're just a nice craft with a white kind of stripe on it. And I'm just spelling out Harry Potter. I like the way that looks, but I do want the uh, banner here to go further out, 
So I'm just going to cut it in half since it's my bottom layer. You're not even going to be able to see that. So I'm just going to make it go out a little bit more so that the title fits on it better. This is a little patch from Freckled Fawn. It says, let's go on an adventure. And Harry Potter is definitely an adventure. <laughs> Um, I have this little owl wood veneer, which is also from Feckled Fawn, and owls are a big part of Harry Potter as well. And then I just have some stickers here that I have pulled, and I'm just trying to see what I want to use and where. And I like how everything is going so far, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting my layers stuck down so then I can start building my embellishment clusters. So I'm just going to put that down on this paper, put this on the book paper, and then I'll go ahead and get my bottom layers down. I'm going to pull out my ruler so that I can make sure this goes straight across and that it's even. I just like the little hints of green that are peeking out. And I like how the title can just kind of nestle in that little corner there. And then I have this little sticker from Kelly Perky and it says yes to all of the above. And um, I really like that. And it has the red arrows on it, which is perfect. These glasses here are from, I believe, Maggie Holmes. I want to say it's the Maggie Holmes open book line. Um, someone sent me those and I was thrilled when I was looking through stuff to pull for this kit. I knew I wanted to find some glasses because Harry Potter was glasses and those look exactly like his because they are the round. If I had used the other ones, it would have still made sense, but they weren't, they didn't look like his. So just the fact that I found one little thing of round <laughs> glasses, I was so happy. And of course now I don't have them anymore, but that's okay. I was happy to use them here. Um, so I cut out a little arrow die cut. I'm not sure where I got that. There's no manufacturer on it. Um, but I also pulled a couple things here from the October afternoon public library die cut pack. And those little, those two little circles down there um, are what I pulled from that. So I'll use those as a, another little cluster down there. And then I also have a red arrow underneath that owl up there and it says real magic. And that's actually from the Simple Story Say Cheese 2 line, which I'm using for my Disney layouts. And I had my Disney stuff sitting on my desk as well. And I kind of looked over and saw that sticker and grabbed it. <laughs> so I was like, yep, real magic. It's true. So it went pretty perfectly there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my title put down here. And I'm using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive to put down these chipboard stickers. And I debated putting something underneath Potter just to kind of help ground it. My, my journaling is going to start under there, so I don't think it needs anything extra. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, this layer, this little cluster up here going. I'm go ahead and put my sticker down here next to the title. And then this patch. It is adhesive on the back, but I just went ahead and put a little extra just in case, especially since it's going on top of the picture. And then this little yay right here, that's from Freckled Fawn as well, and it's green. So I debated putting one of those red circles behind the glasses, but um, it was a little too much. And I didn't really think the glasses needed it. They, they stand out pretty well on their own, even though they're vellum. So I'm good with that. Um, so Harry Potter is definitely my favorite book series of all time. And um, Kaylin has started to show an interest in it recently, but she's eight, and I didn't know if she would be able to read it on her own. So um, when she started showing interest, I just wasn't sure if I just gave her the first book if she'd be able to read it, you know, correctly. And, you know, there's a lot of hard words in it. Sometimes even I have a hard time <laughs> with the words that are used in it. So when these illustrated editions came out, I ordered the first one and thought this would be perfect. We can get the illustrated edition. She can see the pictures as we're reading it. And we're also listening to the audiobook at the same time. So it's pretty amazing. So far, we're only two chapters in, but we're going to start working on it some more here soon. But um, so far, she's really enjoying it. So, 
All right, so this circle down here at the bottom has a date on it, so I'm putting 2016. I did not have a one, but I'm gonna use the long part of an exclamation point, and it's just gonna be a little shorter than the rest of the numbers, but I'm not too worried about that. And um, I went ahead and did my journaling as well, just talking about how excited I am that she's showing interest in one of my favorite stories of all time. And um, I'm gonna pull out some of these wood veneer stars. I believe these are from Studio Calico. And I'm gonna kind of sprinkle them around in a few different places here. And I'm trying to use big and small. And I'm not gonna adhere them down on camera because my battery runs out before I could. <laughs> but this ends up being my complete layout. I put everything down exactly, um, all the stars down exactly where they go. And that's going to be it. So I, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and I will include a link to the Ready Sketch Go class if you guys want to check it out. It really is truly amazing. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.